launch sequence initiated. Five, four, three, two, one. What happened? Uh, did we launch? Are we in space? Houston, do we have a problem? Uh, roger that, STC-1. You have not left the launch pad. Repeat, you failed to launch. Control, what's the problem? Why did our launch fail? Uh, STC-1, looks like there was excess weight in the capsule. Mark, did you sneak any extra payload on board? I don't think so. Oh, wait, sorry guys. I couldn't think of going to the moon without this. Mark, you look deep in thought. What's on your mind? Well, Eric, I'll tell you. I'm excited and I'm frustrated all at the same time. Excited and frustrated? I mean, how did that happen? Well, I finally get a page for my most important keyword on page one of Google. Congratulations. That must be why you're excited. But you said you're frustrated at the same time? Yeah, I mean, as good as that is, I know that most of the clicks are still going to my competition who are above me on that page, and overcoming them is going to be a lot harder than it even was to get on page one in the first place. That's true, but there is a way to bypass them all in one moment. Really? How? By qualifying for and getting a featured snippet result. Featured snippet? What's that? A featured snippet is a type of rich answer in search where an answer is pulled directly from your site and featured in a box above all the other results and includes a link back to your web page. Wow, that sounds amazing. But what, how would I get a featured snippet? Before I answer that, let me share some interesting insights about featured snippets that I discovered recently. Please do. One thing that our viewers should be aware of is that rich answers in general have been showing up more and more in search results. Rich answers, which include featured snippets, are any search result where Google includes extra information in the result beyond the traditional page title and brief description. Now, we've been tracking 1.4 million queries since July of 2015, and you can see this in, in this graph, how rich answers have continued to grow in terms of the percentage of search queries that show them. Wow, it looks like they show up in more than half of our test queries now. That's right. So, obviously, they are something that Google knows its users like to see, and they are finding more and more ways to incorporate them into their results. Well, how many of those rich answers are featured snippets? Well, featured snippets have continued to grow a lot as well. And as you can see here, they took a huge leap since our July 2015 study, and are now almost half of all the rich answer results we're seeing, and showed up in nearly 30% of the queries in our test set. But those facts aren't even the most important things you discovered in your latest study of rich answers, am I right? Right. Here's something we don't think anyone else has spotted until now. Before a search result becomes a featured snippet, it actually first shows up as an expanded regular snippet in the search results. And the text in that regular snippet matches what will appear in the featured snippet if it becomes one. Well, you mean Google actually telegraphs a clue as to which snippets are being considered for possible featured snippets? That's right. So let's back up for a moment. I mean, you said that before a result becomes a featured snippet, it first shows up in search as an expanded regular snippet. Now, what does that look like? Well, a regular or standard search result snippet has a two-line description like the one you're looking at on the screen right now. But an expanded snippet has three or more lines in their description as you see here. That result from our site, by the way, did earn a featured snippet, as you see here. We found that for our test results that had featured snippets, in almost 90% of the cases, the featured snippet was identical to the regular snippet. But what about the other 10%? Well, about a 40% of those were tables, which Google does not show in regular snippets in any case. And another 15% were a match, but just truncated versions of the featured snippet text. In pretty much all the other remaining cases, it looks like there was some other Google algorithm involved in editing the featured snippet, and that's why the match wasn't there. But the regular snippet matches the featured snuff, uh, snippet enough to say that there's a very good clue for which results Google is considering for a possible featured snippet. So more than one expanded snippet can show in the regular results? Oh yes, that's, that's quite common. 
And our hypothesis, borne out so far by our observations, is that all the results that have such expanded snippets are in the running, so to speak, for a featured snippet. One of the things that we've seen in our studies over the past three years is that Google churns their featured snippets quite a bit. And by that, I mean, for many of the queries, they change which site gets shown for the featured snippet, uh, and they change it quite often. It looks to us like, for many queries, Google tests which featured snippet users like the best. The point here, though, is that when they do churn the featured snippets, they all tend to come from the set of expanded regular snippets that are already showing in the results. So SEOs would do well and be smart to take a close look at any expanded regular snippets in results for their keywords to get a clue as to what Google may be looking for in a featured snippet result. That's right. And I've incorporated that insight into my new eight-step guide to creating content that can earn a featured snippet. It's part of the latest Rich Answers study that we've published on our site. Well, I know our viewers will want to read that study and get your guide to earning featured snippets. So we'll provide a link in the notes to this episode. Now, in the meantime, we should get back to the weighty matter of trying to get STC1 off the launch pad. Well, we did it. We finally launched and STC1 is on its way to the moon. Yeah, whoop de doo I'm bored. And since you guys made me jettison the art of SEO, I don't have anything to read. So you're bored, eh? Hey, I know how we could occupy our time. Let's do a science experiment. A science experiment? That sounds like fun. What experiment should we do? Let's see how long a human can survive in deep space outside a space capsule. Whoa! 